Hey, it's good to see you. Happy Friday. I am sick. Like, I don't mean that as a euphemism. Like, <laughs> just, you're sick. No, I'm literally sick. I have a little, a little bug. My younger son was not feeling so well earlier in the week. He had a sore throat, a little bit of a fever, and just achy and a headache. Today, I have sore throat, a little bit of a fever, achy all over, and a headache. And I'm very tired, and my brain is not working right. You ever get like that when you're sick? Like, your brain, it's like on slow motion or something. It's just like nothing processes at the normal speed. There's a delay. <laughs> There's just a delay. Like, just give me a minute. I don't know the answer to that. Just let me uh, let it percolate for a minute. Maybe I will provide you with an answer. So I spent as much time as possible today just resting. And I actually had chicken soup, which I have not had in a long time. I had a bowl of chicken soup for lunch, and it was really good. Um, my, my nose has just started becoming runny. I'm having to blow my nose a lot. So I've just spent the day here just trying to rest as much as possible. I'm very tired. Like, I can't do anything. And every time I'm sick, I come more and more to the realization that if I ever reach a point in my life that I am physically limited, and, and I'm sure, you know, most people do at some point in their life, you're going to reach a point where your body just won't let you do the things that you used to be able to do. When I get to the point, if I am fortunate enough to live long enough to reach this point, um, you know, people, you know, you can, you can look down on old people all you want to, but a lot of people are not lucky enough to make it that long. So, you know, I, I just don't understand the disrespect so many people have for older people. But anyway, if I, if I'm lucky enough to live long enough to where I reach a point where I physically can't do what I want to do anymore, I think that is going to be really hard for me to deal with. Like earlier, I had to go up in the attic and get something. And just the mere act of going up the flight of stairs up into the attic just left me worn out. Like, I feel like I need to sit down. I just, I went up one flight of steps and I thought I was going to die. So, yeah, my son's fine. He got over it in like 24 hours. He was fine. Usually, though, when I catch something from my kids, it hits me a lot harder than it does them. So, I, I just... I don't have any plans this weekend and it's fine. So if I had to pick a time to get sick, it's now. Now would be a good time to go ahead and get it over with because next week I'm getting my countertops done in all of my bathrooms and I want to be better and rested and ready to deal with that. So um, the only thing that sucks about it is we're supposed to have absolutely gorgeous weather all weekend and I was kind of looking forward to getting out. Now, we had talked about going to the Greensboro Science Center and, you know, because it's going to be so pretty. And now I'm not going to be able to do that unless I have a miraculous recovery overnight or something, which I'm not expecting to have. Um, I don't want to expose anybody to my cooties anyway. Even if I feel better, I wouldn't go because I don't, I don't know. I don't want to get anybody sick. So, um, I, I, it's just a bug. It's just a bug. Don't worry about COVID or anything like that. I mean, I guess it could be possibly, but I, I don't know. That's, you can't talk about getting sick without people freaking out over COVID even now. But uh, it's. I think it's just a, a little bug that my son was kind enough to bring home and give to me, which I knew he would. I knew. I thought I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up catching. I'm going to catch this. And if you have kids, that's one of the things that goes along with it. <laughs> You get all the stuff they bring home from school, <laughs> including colds and the flu and, oh, yeah, all kinds of fun things. They're like little walking Petri dishes. As they get older, it's not as bad, but it can still happen. Like, he's in the eighth grade, so, but, you know, they still get sick and they bring it home. But um, he's fine. For him, it was like one day and he was over it. And he was okay. Um, I think I, I started feeling really bad. Last night, um, probably about 10 o'clock last night, I started feeling really lousy. And that's when I finally admitted to myself, yeah, I don't think this is allergies. I think you're actually getting sick. Because I was outside and I got stuffy. And I thought it was related to being out there getting a bunch of leaves up, which that probably didn't help. Because every time I rake leaves, it just 
kills my sinuses for several hours just breathing in that stuff and they were kind of wet too and you know just breathing that in it just gets me but um I had originally planned to do a totally different video for my other channel and that is not going to happen today because it would have involved going I was going to go to I kind of wanted to go to Hobby Lobby, but then I'm thinking, I, I don't have the energy to do it, and I'm sick, and I don't want to expose anybody to this anyway, so, I mean, I can't do it. I'll just try to do it another day. They have a lot of really pretty Christmas stuff that I wanted to show you, and they have this one whole long aisle of glass Christmas ornaments. I think we looked at them last year, and they're so pretty, and I wanted to go through and look at the glass ornaments again. They're so pretty. And they have a bunch of other pretty Christmas stuff that I wanted to look at. But that's just going to have to be another day. I kind of thought about going to organize soap at Dollar Tree, but the same problem. Like, I don't have the energy for it, and I don't want to expose anybody to my cooties. So, that will have to be another day, too. So, I think I'm just going to do part of that jewelry bag. You know, I need something quick that I can do that doesn't take long. It's a video I don't have to edit. I just up upload the raw video. I'm still having trouble with my video editing software. I can't figure out quite what's wrong with it. It's a setting or some, something screwed up and it's driving me crazy. And I don't have the mental capacity to do any of that today. I just, I can't. I need to do something simple that my sick brain can handle. Fortunately, I, I had, you know, I have my day job. I, I didn't have a lot that I had to do today fortunately, but I got done what I needed to do and got it all submitted and filed and everything. And and then as soon as I got done, I just got comfortable on the couch and I put in, I had the, uh, the fourth and final season of The Good Place on DVD had just come in the mail. So I thought that was perfect timing. So I watched the entire fourth season of The Good Place today. Well, I slept, I, I slept through part of it, not because it was boring, but because I was just tired. I was just really run down and feeling crappy, and I just, I fell asleep. I, I think I slept through a few episodes of it, but uh, I had, like I say, I have it on DVD. I could watch it again later. It was a really good show. I had only seen it originally up through the second season. I hadn't seen the last two seasons, and it was really good. I kind of wondered, how do you keep the storyline going for four seasons? But they did, and it was actually really, really good. I like, I like the way it ended. It was good. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry this is so short. I just, I just feel like shit. And I want, I want to get my other video done and take a shower and take some NyQuil and go to bed and just hope for the best. I did wake up again. I took NyQuil before I went to bed last night. And I woke up right at four o'clock. But I only stayed awake for about 20 minutes, which is much better than normal. But, um, that me waking up at night didn't really have anything to do with this. I just go through that periodically. I don't know. I've been doing it for like 20 years. I will go through a week or two where every night between 2 and 4 p.m. I just, I'm just wide awake out of nowhere. I will just wake up and just be wide awake. And, you know, I'll stay awake sometimes for an hour or two hours. Sometimes I can't go back to sleep at all. And it goes on for a week or two and then it just stops for, you know, several months and I'll be fine and then I'll start doing it again and I there's no rhyme or reason to it. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. You know, somebody suggested taking melatonin. I don't know what the deal is with me. Melatonin doesn't do anything for me. I have tried several different types. I've tried different combinations of melatonin supplements, you know, liquid, tap, you know, chewable things. I've tried different forms of melatonin. None of them really seem to do diddly squat for me. Caffeine doesn't seem to bother me. I can chug a 12 ounce Pepsi and go to bed. It does not keep me awake. My dad is the same way. He could drink a whole pot of coffee and go to bed. It just, it doesn't seem to do anything to him. Um, I, I don't, I don't know what causes it. I don't know. I, I've tried taking different supplements and, and things to help me sleep and it doesn't seem to stop it. I don't know what it is. I think it has something to do with my sleep cycle or something going on in my brain. I don't think a supplement from the GNC is going to fix it. I think it's something, it's like brain activity or something. 
I don't know. I'm going to have to pause this video a lot while I record it because I keep, I've developed this cough and I have to keep blowing my nose. I have blown my nose so much since it started being runny and uh, I need to go ahead and get started because it's going to take a little while because I'm going to have to pause frequently to cough and blow my nose. I'm probably going to have to whisper it because I don't like the way my voice sounds when I'm sick. It's not really affecting it a whole lot, but it's affecting it a little bit, and I don't like the way it sounds. Ugh. I'm just genuinely very unhappy, and it's Friday night, and normally I'm in a much better mood, but I don't feel good. My head hurts. I'm achy. I'm tired. I'm vaguely grouchy. I do apologize. I'm just grumpy. And I want to get my video done and take a shower and take my NyQuil and just go to bed. But hopefully you're not sick. And hopefully your day is going well. I'm very thankful that, you know, just right now, I, I could rest today, you know, because I know what it's like to have to go to work and you feel like shit. And, you know, I'm so glad I have a position in my life where, you know, the way things are, I can just, I can just go lay down on the couch and take it easy for like half a day. It's so wonderful, and I am so grateful for that. And I'm really glad it's hit me at a time when I don't have anything going on for the next couple of days. And even though I hate that it's beautiful out, and I'm going to spend most of it probably in the bed, at least I can. You know, I can do it, and I am very grateful for that. I try to express my gratitude, and I need to do better about it. I need to quit bitching all the time and be more grateful for what I do have. And I am grateful for what I have. So, I know I look bad. I know I look tired. My son, my younger son, already came in here and told me that. So, you don't have to tell me I look tired. I'm, I've already been informed that I look tired. He came in and he looked at me. He was looking at me. He goes, You look like you went to the beach. And you put sunscreen around your eyes. But nowhere else. Does that make sense? So, I think I get what you're saying. He said, yeah, you don't look, you don't look good. You don't look good at all. You look really tired and you look like you got a weird thing going on with your eyes. <laughs> so, yeah, I know I look like shit. You don't have to tell me. It's fine. <sighs> okay. I'm going to go in there. I have my video all set up to do. I'm going to rally myself. I had a hoodie on earlier, but it's it's like, it's not menopause, but it's the way I've heard people describe it, where you, you have hot flashes. I, I go from being hot to freezing to death, to, and then I'll sweat, and then I'm freezing to death, and my temperature is just all over the place. I've just got this low-grade fever going on, and I, I've, I've put on and taken off my hoodie like 10 times today, and it's currently off because I got hot. So... I'm just babbling at this point, but I hope you have a good weekend coming up. I hope you're not sick. I hope you're doing okay. And, and tomorrow, tomorrow I will be better. I'm going to just, you know, put that out there. I'm hoping that tomorrow I will feel better and everything will be better and everything's going to be good. So thank you so much for being here. Sorry, this is so short. I will give you a better quality video one of these days, I promise. Um, I did, I don't know, for, I didn't hear from Paradise Home Improvement today or the Better Business Bureau. I'm still trying to get the representative to respond to me about reopening the case. I don't know why they closed it, um, because nothing has happened. I still don't have, I still don't have any of my money back. I, I didn't get a response on the invoice I sent them yesterday, so I don't know what's going on, but maybe I will hear something next week. I don't know. I'm still waiting. So, yeah, it was a pretty uneventful day for the most part. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll see you again soon.